Welcome back to the wallet. Today we are dealing with number puzzles type question. This is one of the favorite area of almost every aptitude test. Let's take a look at the first combination we have here. Three triangles. So what you see right here, we have two, three, five. In between we have 17. This one we have a question mark right here. We have seven, one, two, we have a question mark. And in this case, we have four, eight, and nine, 76 in the middle. So that must be a pattern. We need to find out that what exactly the pattern. According to that pattern, we need to find this number replaces the question mark. So what is the pattern? Well, at a glance, it's pretty straightforward question. At a glance, you can see that three into five, 15, and here is a two, three into five, plus two, 17. However, we need to check it with the third figure, if it is the exact same pattern. If it is the exact same pattern, we'll apply the pattern for this question mark, right? Okay, let's try this. Eight into nine, this is three into five, this is 18 to 9. 18 to 9, 72, and we have a 4. 72 plus 4, 76. Pretty good. So the answer must be 1 into 2, 2 plus 7, the 9 would be the answer in this case, 9. Well, in this similar question, right, actually what I'm going to do right now, I will change this 2, 3, 5, 7, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 9, but I'll change the number in the middle. All right, so this is what I have mentioned. These numbers, 2, 3, and 5, I haven't changed those numbers, but the number in the middle has changed. Well, it was 17 earlier, now it is 30. So what's the pattern here? 3 into 5, 15, plus 2 is 17, but now it's 30. So 3 into 5, 15 into 2 is 30. That's pretty good. So then 1 into 2, 2, that 2 into 7, 14. Perfectly all right. Now, what is that's going to be the same pattern right here. 8 into 9, 72. 72 into 4 must be the answer. What is 72 into 4? 70 into 4. 70 into 4? 70 into 4, 28. So 70 into 4, 280. Right? So what we need is? 72 into 4. 70 into 4, 280. 2 into 4, 8. So the answer must be 288. Now, the third step, I'm going to change these numbers in the middle once again. As I have mentioned earlier, this is the third stage. While those numbers 2, 3, 5, those numbers are not changed, but the middle number is changed. 160 here. And this is 1,305. Let's take a look at it. Earlier we had 3, 5. 3 into 5, 15. 15 into 2, 30. But this is 160. 30 into what? So 3 into 5, 15. 15 into 2, 30. 30 into 5, 150 plus 10. Where does the 10 come from? We have no idea. How about like this number over here? 8, 9, 4, this is 1,305. Well, 1,305, that's a huge number. When you compare with 8, 9, and 4. If you multiply 8 into 9, that is 72. 72 into 4, 288. Much less than 1,305. So what is the possibility here? It's uh, some kind of power. It could be like more than square. Square case, it is what? 8 square, 64. 9 square is 81. And 4 square is 16. So not even close to 1,305. How about the cubes? 9 cube, 729. 8 cube, 512. All right. So well, 700 something, 500 something. That comes close to what? 1,200, right? Getting closer. Let's take a look at it. What is 9 cube? 729. Well, 8 cube, 512. And 4 cube, 64. If you add it, 
Again, no paper, no pencil, just mental calculation. What we have is 700 and 500. 700 plus 500, 1200, right? The balance is what? 64 plus 12, 76. 76 plus 29, that we will make it as 75 plus 30, 105. So 700 plus 500, 1200 plus 105, that is 1305, 1305. So we got the pattern. What is it? 8Q plus 9Q plus 4Q would be the answer here. All right, let's check it out here as well. What is it? 3 cube, 27. 5 cube, 125. So 125 plus 27 is 152, right? Plus 2 cube, 8. 152 plus 8, 160. Perfectly all right. Now, what would be the answer here? 7 cube, 343. And this is 1 cube, 1. 343 plus 1, 344. 344 plus 2 cube, 8. 344 plus 8, 352. That would be the answer in this case. All right, see that? So we tried different possibilities. It could be the numbers in the outside here. What kinds of pattern we had? Well, it could be the multiplication. That means these numbers are multiplied to each other. Sometimes it is what? connected with the squares, in this case it is connected with the cubes, right? Okay, next question, right here on the board, you see this? 2, 9 and 85, second one, 6, 4 and 52, and this is 8, 5 and 89, so I have given the answer as well, 89, but you need to find out what exactly the pattern here, all right? That is another way of looking at these questions. Practice, practice, practice make you perfect. Let's try this. So 2 and 9, 85. How come that's 85? Well, 9 square, what I can see this 9 square. 9 square is 81. And well, 81 plus 4 is 85. So that would be 2 square. So 9 square plus 2 square, right? How about here? Well, this is 6 square. 36 plus 4 square, 16. 36 plus 16. 36 plus 10, 46. 46 plus 6, 52. Perfectly all right. How about here? 8 square, 5 square. 8 square is 64. 64 plus 25, 89. Perfectly all right. Now I'm going to change these numbers. This time, this is the real question in front of you. Well, 2 and 9 is not changed, 6 and 4 is not changed, 5 and 8 is not changed. However, the numbers over here, 96, 62 and question mark. So we need to find the pattern here. Why it is 96? Earlier we had 9 square plus 2 square, we had 85. But in this case, this is 96. So what is the pattern? Well, 9 into 2 is 18. 18 and 96, is that a pattern? Is that a connection? This case, 6 into 4 is 24, and this is 62. Anything, any kind of pattern you see there? Well, 96 by 2, 96 by 2 is what? 48, and this is 9. 48 and 9, is there any connection? 62, 62 by 6. Well, 62 is not a multiple of 6. <laughs> that doesn't work as well. Anything else? What I see here, 6 square, 36, plus 4 square, 16, that is 52. 6 square plus 4 square is 52. That 52, this is 62. So difference is what, 10? Where did that 10 come from? Possibly 6 plus 4, 10. Is it? We'll check it. The first one. Well, 9 square plus 2 square is 85, and this is 96. 85 and 96, what's the difference? 11. Where did 11 come from? 9 plus 2, 11. All right, now we got the pattern. Let's try with this question. 8 square plus 5 square, that is 64 plus 25. 64 plus 25, 89. That 89 plus 8 plus 5, 13. 
So 8 plus 5, 13. 89 plus 13. 89 plus 10, 99. 99 plus 3, 102, right? So the 102 would be the answer here. Look at it. People call it numerical puzzles or Sudoku puzzles. Doesn't matter. How do we crack it? So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. These are even numbers and the consecutive even numbers that is exactly in the order. Next one, next one would be 18 after 18. This will be 20, 22, 24. But this is not in the order. Up to here it's 18. Then we have 44. Then we have a question mark. Then 180. Well, we need to find the pattern here. Either it's a row wise pattern, row wise, row wise, row wise, or it could be a column wise pattern. Well, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. The pattern what we see is 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. In this case, it's the same thing. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. 14 plus 2 is 16, 16 plus 2 is 18. And 44 plus 2 must be 46. 46 plus 2 must be 48. But that is not the case. How about we check it column wise? How about like 2, 8, and 14? Right? What's the pattern? 2, 8 plus 2, 10. And 14 plus 10, 24. But this is 44. How about the 6? 12. 18. Well, 18 plus 12, 30. 30 plus 6, 36. This is 180. 36 and 180, is that a connection? 36. 30 into 5, 150. 6 into 5, 30. So 36 into 5, 180. 18 plus 12, 30. 30 plus 6, 36. Into 5 is 180. However, 14 plus 8, 22. 22 plus 2, 24, 24 into 5, mm -hmm. that's 120, doesn't work. Anything else come to your mind at this point of time? 14, 14 plus 8, what is it? 22, 22 into 2, 44, well 14 plus 8, 22, 22 into 2, 44. How about we check it over here, 18 plus 12, 30. 30 into 6, 180, perfectly all right. So what is the pattern? Third column plus second column, I mean third row plus second row, that must be multiplied by the first row. So we'll take a look at here. 16 plus 10, 26, 26 into 4, well 25 into 4 is 100, 26 into 4, 104. Yes, we have the answer right here. However, this question, we have the answer choice either A or C. So before we confirm the answer A, so A is the correct answer. There's nothing wrong with it. Before we confirm that the answer, in this case, we need to check C as well, right? So the reason, one of the answer choices is given us either A or C. So we need to check 112. Is there any possibility 112 can be the answer? Is there a second pattern do we have here? Well, first pattern, this is what? 14 plus 8 into 2, that is 44. And 16 plus 10 into 4, that is 104. Is there a different pattern? Look at it. Row wise, 2, 4, 6. 2 plus 6 by 2 is what 4 so this column I mean the middle column is the average of these two numbers I look at here 8 and 12 8 and 12 20 20 by 2 10 perfectly all right how about this 14 and 18 14 and 18 that is 32 32 by 2 that is 16 how about like 44 and 180 180 plus 20 is 200. So 44, we have taken 20 from 44, balance is 24. So 180 plus 44 is 224. Half of it, 
Half of 200, 100. 24 half, 12. So 112, right? So 104 is the correct answer. 112 is the correct answer. So a perfect answer would be either A or C. Well, this would be the answer in this case. Well, many of the exams, candidates make a mistake. When they see the first answer choice, they may confirm it. That would be the answer. In this case, 104 is not a wrong answer. However, we have one more answer choice. So in just in case, if you see the answer like either A or C, or data inadequate, or cannot be determined, all that points towards the possibility you may have more than one answer. So be a little careful with those kind of questions. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.